a locomotive so fast it pushed steam to its absolute limit and then vanished before the world understood what it could really do. And the world saw only three, ever. So how did three experimental streamliners become legends while leaving behind almost no physical trace? This is the story of the DRG Class 05, Germany's ultra streamlined trio of high-speed steam locomotives that arrived in the middle of a global speed war in the 1930s. Countries were racing in cars, aircraft, engines, anything that could move. Speed wasn't just engineering, it was politics. If your machines were fast, you looked modern, powerful, technologically superior. Germany watched the UK's Gressley Pacifics, America's streamlined Hudson's, and France's speed experiments, and they wanted something that didn't just match them. They wanted something that dominated them. So the Reichsbahn didn't commission a workhorse locomotive. They commissioned a statement, something visually shocking, something so boldly engineered that the world couldn't ignore it. The result was the DRG-05. Three machines, 05001, 05002, and 05003, that looked like they arrived from a future Germany never got to live in. When 05001 first appeared in 1935, people weren't sure whether to applaud or step back. Steam locomotives were supposed to look muscular and mechanical, but this thing, it looked like a sci-fi torpedo. Engineers covered almost every moving part under a continuous steel mantle. They sealed the wheels behind curved panels. They tapered the nose into an aerodynamic knife. The casing was so smooth that the locomotive didn't even look like it breathed. The cab sat behind small, slit-like windows that gave almost no visibility. Inside, crews roasted from trapped heat. Maintenance? A nightmare. A simple inspection meant removing huge metal plates. But the Reichsbahn didn't mind. The 05 wasn't designed for convenience. It was designed for headlines. And the second locomotive, 05002, that was the one destined for history. On May 11, 1936, Germany attempted something bold. They wanted to break the world's steam speed record, a title held proudly by the British. 05002 was prepared obsessively. Polished bearings, perfect coal, perfect weather. The crew knew they were about to try something dangerous. And then she did it. 200.4 kilometers per hour, 124.5 miles per hour, a steam locomotive in the 1930s hitting 200 kilometers per hour. That number still feels ridiculous today. Crowds cheered, newspapers screamed the headline. And for a moment, Germany was on top of the world. But strangely, the Reichsbahn didn't celebrate much. They didn't parade the locomotive. They didn't brag endlessly. They didn't even push 05002 to try again. Why? Because despite the record, something unexpected was happening behind the scenes. The 05 class was insanely fast, but shockingly impractical. The casing did its job a little too well. It trapped heat so aggressively, the inside felt like a steam-powered oven. Mechanics dreaded those side panels because removing them was a workout by itself. Drivers saw the world through windows the size of postcards. The boiler lived on the edge and the fireman shoveled coal like he owed the locomotive money. They were spectacular machines, but only on perfect days, under perfect conditions, with perfect crews. Not ideal for daily service. And all this created an awkward problem. Germany had built an engineering masterpiece that didn't actually solve any real transportation need. Now let's talk about the strangest member of the family, 05003. Unlike her sisters, 05003 wasn't just another streamlined experiment. She was practically a reimagining. Engineers pushed the cab all the way to the front, reworked the boiler concept, rearranged the firing system, and redesigned the entire control layout. She felt less like a third sibling and more like the version 2.0 the class desperately needed. Clearer visibility for the crew, cooler operating temperatures, easier access for maintenance, and an interior that finally made sense instead of roasting everyone alive. But then, almost nobody used her. 05003 ran fewer miles, had fewer major assignments, and was treated like an engineering oddity. She was the smartest child in the family, but ignored anyway. Well, why build a better version and then barely use it? 
because the Reichsbahn had already started doubting the whole concept. Then World War II hit, and everything changed in one breath. In wartime, flashy record breakers didn't matter. Crews didn't need speed, they needed reliability. They needed locomotives that could haul supplies, troops, and materials. Locomotives that could run dirty, run worn, run under pressure, and the DRG-05. She was a diva in every sense. She needed spotless track, perfect coal, flawless weather, and a crew willing to treat her like royalty. Exactly the kind of high-maintenance superstar a wartime railway had zero patience for. A 200 kilometer per hour prima donna in a world that suddenly needed workhorses. So the 05s got pushed out of the way, tucked into sidings, ignored while the heavy brutes took over. Every month of the war made them feel more out of place. And when the dust finally settled, they were still there, but with nothing left to offer. Now here's where the story takes a dramatic turn because after the war, Germany needed locomotives urgently, but not these locomotives. Steam was already on its way out globally. Diesel and electric were cleaner, cheaper, easier. And most importantly, they didn't need crews of specialists to keep them alive. But the DRG-05 had one final humiliation waiting. Their beautiful streamlining was removed. The long pointed nose was stripped away. The sleek side panels were pulled off. The aerodynamic shell that once made the 05 look futuristic was peeled back until nothing remained of her former identity. When the plates came off, the truth was painfully clear. Underneath all that streamlining, the 05 class looked ordinary, like any other German steam locomotive. People who saw them afterward barely recognized them. It was like watching a famous actor lose the costume that made them iconic. And because their identities disappeared, their remaining usefulness disappeared too. The Reichsbahn eventually accepted the truth. The 05s were a headache. They cost too much to keep alive, didn't match anything else in the fleet, and looked ancient next to the new diesel electric machines taking over the country. So in the early 1950s, Germany considered preserving one of them, but the restoration cost was massive. The structural damage from years of storage was significant. The performance advantages were gone without streamlining, and the country had bigger priorities. So one by one, the DRG-05 locomotives were scrapped completely, without any ceremony or special treatment. Gone. But here's the twist. Some engineers believe the DRG-05 hadn't even reached its real top speed. There are reports that show that the locomotive had more power left, that with different tracks, different firing, different tuning, it could have gone even faster. Well, how fast? Maybe 210 kilometers per hour, maybe 220, maybe even enough to challenge Mallard decades later. We will never know, because the locomotives capable of proving it were destroyed before anyone tried. Today, say the words DRG-05, and every rail fan instantly perks up. They remember that impossible nose, the outrageous speed, the world record that still feels surreal. They picture the photos that look almost edited and the engineering numbers that make no sense for a 1930s machine. The 05 didn't just become famous, it became a myth, mainly because none of them lived long enough for the world to truly understand them. Most preserved steam engines live long enough to fade into nostalgia. The DRG-05 never faded, it vanished, and that turned it into an icon. Imagine if Germany had saved just one. Picture 05002 steaming today, restored, alive, flying down the main line like she never stopped. Would she show us speed steam was always capable of? Would she make people question everything we thought we knew about the limits of the 1930s? Would she prove steam's story ended too early? The DRG-05 leaves behind one giant unanswered question. What would have happened? if Germany hadn't given up on her. So what about you? Do you think the DRG-05 was a genius invention that arrived too early or a beautiful mistake that was never meant to last? Tell me in the comments. And if you love stories about machines that burned bright and vanished fast, subscribe. The next legend might surprise you.